Let's start with the United Nations General Assembly. It started its sessions earlier today and members there expected to adopt the Sustainable Development Goals, an ambitious set of global objectives which are expected to improve the lives of millions of people by 2030. In the year 2000, the UN adopted a development agenda underpinned by the then referred to Millennium Development Goals, or MDGs. They were guided at the time by the principle that no one should have to suffer the consequences of extreme poverty. And at that time, very few people believed that the goals could be attained by the 2015 target date. But even though poverty has not been eliminated completely, there's been quite a bit of progress. The SDGs now will have to build on the legacy set by the MDGs, while adding sustainability, especially from an environmental perspective, into the equation. Leaders around the world now recognize that efforts to meet development needs must not jeopardize future generations' prospects, especially on this little rock called planet Earth. Let's get some details now from Liling Tang. She's live in New York with a lot more details on this story. Um, Liling, where exactly do private enterprises fit into the execution of these sustainable development goals? Well, certainly they're poised to play a big role. The UN tells me that while much is needed from uh, government and civil society, governments and organizations cannot do this alone and that the private sector uh, will need to step up and play a major part in reaching these sustainable, uh, sustainable development goals. Now, one area that they could move forward on is in uh, private-public partnerships uh, to undertake uh, meeting these targets, uh, to work with community through corporate social responsibility efforts and activities to try and um, achieve these goals. Now, companies, especially big businesses, multinational corporations, public listed uh, companies, they too can play a role by, by including sustainability efforts and measurements and progress in their reporting cycle. That's, for example, when they report their quarterly, when they issue quarterly reports and annual reports. But as far as the actual specific steps of implement implementation is concerned, there still remains a lot of questions. Businesses, the private sector, they're, they're still uncertain and unclear about what exactly they're su supposed to do in order to meet these ambitious targets. And that's what the summit, the three-day summit due to kick off on September 25th is for, to iron out some of these issues, even as these SDGs are being implemented. Indeed, whatever form, however, these goals do take, the next set of goals will need a lot of public funding in order to execute. Is there a conversation around tax reform, especially in developing countries, to enable them to be able to fund most, if not all, of these goals on their own without having to rely on aid from either the West or from philanthropic donors? Yes, indeed. Funding, of course, is a major question here. How will these ambitious, ambitious goals be funded? Now, the UN says uh, this, these targets require trillions of dollars in funding, but it tells me that on any given day, with more than $300 trillion flowing through economies around the world, efforts need to be made. There needs to be a way to channel some of that money into helping to achieve these goals and that's um, as for tax reforms the UN says that there has been discussions uh, this has been brought up but really this is something that member states UN member states need to discuss with their governments and it's not something the UN is in a position to dictate to to members to do and when the summit comes about this is possibly one issue that member states can raise. Indeed, one final question for you, Liling. We've covered uh, the goals of funding. We've also covered, of course, defining the goals of the SDGs a lot more clearly. What else should we expect from this development summit to be held on the 25th of September? Well, the big event, of course, will kick off this summit, and that will be when member states, world leaders, uh, who will be convening here for the high-level debates in that following week, they will be adopting these SDGs uh, for the next 15 years and then member states will deliver speeches and address some of these issues that are still um, you know that are still very unclear where it comes to implementation we'll of course hear about um, the role businesses can play uh, we'll hear more about the specifics about how they can contribute to these targets and also we hear questions about funding how developing countries in particular as you said can can play their part can uh, follow through on these goals uh, without too much of an economic and financial burden on their own part. So a lot of big questions that, that hopefully will be addressed, uh, if not answered, 
during this summit.